100 Jams, where hit music lives. Peace out. BK featuring Queen and right there in the mix with Van Leaf. Just before that, I was throwing it back to some Farmanapi and Dash in the mix with Technically, one of my favorite songs. Let also let you know what's happening with Farmanapi right now because it's all about Chat Trap at 11.30, telling you what's going on in the media. I'm informing all of my Soka lovers right now that Farmanapi won the 2021 Monarch title with Backyard Jam, and he actually received himself a whopping $150,000 and a chance to perform at a global event. And the second prize, um, $50,000, went to Olatunje Yearwood, while the $25,000 prize went to Viking, their single right there with Ding Dong and Michael Tasia. So congratulations to everyone winning a whole lot of money. I really hope some of that money was coming in my pocket. But anyhow, congratulations to Farmanapi, Olatunje, Ding Dong, and Michael as well. Also, I'll be letting you know what's happening with these electric cars because, honestly, they're becoming very popular globally and it even has me considering right now purchasing one for myself because recently even Apple has been in discussion as to who will be the manufacturer for theirs but apparently this has been in the air since 2016 with Apple so I'll keep you posted may they might do it they might not do it who knows but I think they're probably getting closer to really narrowing down their final decision but Tesla has been the most popular electric vehicle and I think it's due to their unique design back in 2019 they spoke about well, they actually introduced the Tesla Cybertruck, which looks very similar to an army truck. But if you ask me, the owner, you know, he decided to even start it about, well, he spoke about building an underground tunnel for the Teslas in LA. And now Elon Musk, again, is saying that he wants the new Tesla sports car to hover a meter above the ground. I'm just saying, I don't know. At this point, I'm ready to invest in a Tesla. Because Tesla is just going crazy right now, and they're doing phenomenal things. And I'm just saying, they, if they really get that new sports car, the Tesla sports car to hover a meter above the ground, then we're getting very, very much closer to flying. <laughs> flying cars. I don't know. We'll see about that. But what's going on with Mr. Kevin Hart right now, his personal shopper, can be facing up to 25 years in prison. Now, he was hired back in 2015 as a personal shopper for Kevin Hart to purchase several luxury items and using... Kevin Hart's card, of course, but authorities stated that the guy instead bought nearly $1.2 million on fine art and jewelry, charging him, yeah, right now they're charging him with grand larceny and the first and second degree criminal possession of stolen property and the first and second degree identity theft and the first degree and scheme to defraud in the first degree. I'm just saying, these celebrities have so much to worry about. You got to worry about your accountant. You got to worry about your personal shopper. You got to worry about the deals you sign. I'm just saying it's just so much all around. So you never know when the money is, you know, just completely just coming out of your pocket. But finally, I guess they figured it out that this guy was stealing since 2015. And honestly, it's been, it's been some quite some time from 2015 to 2021. That has been quite some time. So he's been doing this over a period, but he could be facing 25 years in prison if he is convicted. Sad to say, but that's what's happening right here, man. Jumping back into the mix, just letting you know what's happening in the media chat trap. About to get into that MD's bad company.